Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review on the brand Not Your Mother's. I have been wanting to do this review for a while, um, and I think I own, I own pretty much, I own a lot from the brand, but I own pretty a lot, pretty much everything, but I don't own any of their hairsprays, any of their shampoos or conditioners, and there's only two different lines of that, um, none of their heat tools, and I also don't have the um, detangler and one other thing that I cannot remember. Oh, and the um, Beach Babe scrunching spray, like the um, like the liquid form of it. Not the liquid form, like the jelly one you actually use your hand. Okay, l let's just get started. And in this video, I'm also gonna show you the consistency of everything, because I don't know, maybe you'll wanna know. I, I'm not sure. So let's get into it. So first, I'm gonna show you what I have. I have the knot, I lost the cap, the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. I have the Not Your Mother's Lock Luster Oil Treatment. This is amazing. I have your, the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat. Um, the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Um, Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves, Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. And I have the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Dividing Hair Cream. Now, first off, all of the, I'm going to talk about the smell, smell. So pretty much all of these things either smell like grape, this one smells like grape, or it smells like um, coconut or like the beach. Like this hair oil, coconut and the beach. This thing, coconut and the beach. This. Coconut and the beach. This one smells the best, in my opinion. But then these two don't. Dry shampoos, you know, don't usually have a smell unless you get the Batiste ones. And then heat protectants always smell kind of gross. This one is okay. Let me smell. Heat protectants just have the strongest smell. That's just my conclusion. Of it. So let me put myself in focus. Okay, so let's get into it. Um. First off, I'm going to start with my, I think I'm going to do this in the order of my favorites. So let's start off with my favorite, which is the Not Your Mother's um, Lock Luster Oil Treatment. <clears throat> so this just has a cap on the top, and it has kind of this like flip open lid sort of thing like that. And I'll pour it And you can't really squeeze the bottle at all. So, and since the stuff is really liquidy, it just comes right out, so... It's just, you probably won't be able to see it. Oh. It's just, can you, you can kind of see that. It's just like a clearish formula. Oh, it dripped. Ah. But yeah, Um. so anyways, how I absolutely love this. It gets rid of frizz. It makes your hair shiny and so flippin' healthy. It is amazing, like, guys. And it's infused with argan and macadamia oil alcohol free for all hair types guys this is honestly this is one of my newest purchases from the brand and I guys this is like a holy grail I love using this with the um it's a 10 by the it's a 10 miracle weaving treatment it's these are like amazing together like I kind of found a do for this but not really but anyways these two are just so great together um so, yeah, I just love this. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. I wish it was a pump bottle, but um, since it isn't a pump bottle, there's, like, no drip. It's really nice. I think it's, I don't know. I just like the packaging, so it's kind of fun with the colors. And it's really nice. It really does smooth your hair. But I will say, it does say to use it when your hair is wet. You must use it when your hair is wet. If it's dry, oh, you're going to have oily hair, girl. Next up, my second favorite. These two are both a tie for second favorite, these two, but um, I'm just going to consider this one second and this one third. So, the Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves. So, I just found this combination yesterday, and these two, and then it's a ton. Guys, that I, I for, is amazing. Y'all, like, I'm, I can't even express how great that is. Go to this, pause this video, or maybe you should just watch it, but pause it, eventually, 
Go to the Ulta, pick up all three of those things, and honey, your hair is gonna love ya. Okay. So anyways, this is so nice. I personally have really curly hair. Well, not curly, like really wavy. And this is meant for straight hair to keep it sleek and stuff. But this maintains frizz so nicely, especially with the lock luster and it's a 10, because it really just calms your hair down. And it won't make your hair as wavy as usual or whatever, but it will still give it its kink or whatever, however your hair naturally is. But it just really calms it down. <laughs> just calms it down, guys. But it's just so nice. And it's like a gel formula. It's kind of like a hair gel, I guess. It smells really nice. That's going to drip. But it has this kind of creamy color, but it's really nice, y'all. I recommend that 100%. So next for the Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. I really like the name. It's cute. It's like Beat the Heat. Like I think all of these really have cute names. So I don't know. Oh, my brother just got home. So I don't have much to say about this. It's a heat protectant. And I, well, okay. So a little while ago, I ran out of my Tresemme, um, the Thermal Creations one, the one with the red cap. And I recently got it sitting over there. I got the Trust Me Platinum Strengths after that. Because 11 Gorgeous seemed to like it. I was like, let's get that. Ooh, 11 Gorgeous. 11 Gorgeous likes it. Why wouldn't I? I hated it. Y'all, like, oh, I just, why did I just. I absolutely hate that Trust Me one. It is just gone off. I personally am not a huge fan of Trust Me products. I'm sorry if you are, but I'm just not. But anyway, so this is great. I only used this once, so I'm probably not giving it its best review, but I don't know. Oh, crap. I straightened. Wait. I used it twice. Yeah, I straightened my hair this morning, and I straightened it like a couple days ago. But um, it's really nice. I have I mean, I'm still going to get split ends and stuff, but my hair looks like much healthier than normal and shiny and nice and healthy and cute especially when I leave it natural it looks really nice so this is really cool and it says on the directions that after you use it do a couple more spritz and I did this and I really do realize the difference do a couple more spritz and then it will give and then it will kind of shield in everything and it'll keep everything together works kind of like a hairspray but without that crunchy yuckiness if you know what I mean but it's really nice Okay, so next up is, I'm not sure, I'm like looking at these three and I like them, but I don't love them. Like all the other ones I would repurchase, but these ones that are over here, my, I'm not sure which is going to be in fourth place. Okay. The Clean Freak. Now, I'm like almost out of this, I'm about done here. This stuff has lasted forever. I've had this, I don't know. I've had this for months, y'all. Like, I can't even tell you how long I've had this for. And recently, I realized I was running low, so I bought the Dove one. I like the Dove one more, but this one's really nice. It does leave a white cast, and the Dove one, I don't see that it does yet, at least. And the Dove one smells good, and this one doesn't. But it doesn't smell like really... It just has a weird powdery scent. Um, it's nice though. It gets rid of all my yucky oil. It does what I need it to do. But I don't know. And I realize that if you like spray this right on your hand, it really burns and hurts. Same with the tub. I think just the aerosol cans just hurt. Um, because they're really strong. But I don't know. It's nice. I like it. It does its job. Like, there's really nothing to complain about it with. So it's nice. Next up is the Beach Babe. Now, on YouTube, the Beach Babe was a huge thing. I just completely ruined my hair. That's going to bother me. Deal with it, Callie. Um, so, on YouTube, the Beach Babe was really popular. And this is how I heard about the brand. This is my first product. And I'm about down here on it. Um, and I used it for the longest time. Like, at, in the morning, what I do is I do a... Oh, I thought that cap was close. It really does dry out your hair, though. I honestly like the um, big, sexy hair one more. I'm, like, trying to... What am I doing? 
I like the big sexy hair one more because I feel like it gives more defined waves, but they kind of do do the same thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's really nice and it does what I want it to do. I feel, I wish it didn't dry out my hair. Like, I knew, I know the sea salt, it has, it's infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. And it's nice. But I wish it didn't dry my hair out. That's my only complaint, but it does everything you want it to do. Oh, and also on all the little bottles, it tells you right underneath the whole this the whole title of it. It says stuff right here that I'm going to read to you when I'm done with this last product. So this is my last product. Um, this I'm not going to show you because it's just like spray. Oh, I just turned it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a spray. Um, the Not Your Mother's Kinky Curl Divining Cream. Now. I you put this in, in when your hair is like damp, scrunch your hair. Um, I don't really notice a difference. I feel like it's just an extra step. I think it smells great. Mm, it smells amazing. Um, I don't know. I think it's good. It does what it's supposed to do, but there's no point to it really. Um, I feel like since I already have wavy hair, I don't notice anything, but maybe if you had really straight hair or whatever, or just a little kink in your hair, you might notice something. I'm sure you would notice something much different. Um, but it's great. I'm sure it would do if, what you want it to do. It does fine. It looks great. Looks the same kind of, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't know. Most likely knowing me, I'm going to repurchase all of these things because that's what I do. I don't know why. But I, mm, I'm not sure about this one product. So like I said, I was going to mention this. At the bottom it says like what is in each product. And there's really nice ingredients. So I'm going to read it to you. So this one is infused with grape seed and jasmine. That's where it gets its, gets its incredible smell. And I'm pretty sure like grape seed helps like hold your hair or guys, I don't know. And then this is infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. And I know dead sea salt helps um, get the scrunch. Holla. Okay. The lock luster has awesome ingredients. I was going through the list. And um, the good ingredients are at the bottom, so I know there's not much of them. But it's still a nice product. And it's infused with argan and macadamia oil. This, sorry, this is so random. This Mark Anthony one. I bought both of these at the same time, and I didn't realize I was buying these hair, both of these. But, I didn't realize it was but um, I was buying. Is it, am I in focus? But I was buying these at the same time, and this one, there's more of the good stuff, the good ingredients, but this one just works better. This one, I'm not a fan of. Anyway, besides the fact this is a 13 freaking minute video, I'm trying to hurry up. Okay, so this says good night. Beat the heat, has sunflower and vitamins, AME. Clean Freak, it says, absorbs excess oils, cleans without water, and you get a light matte finish, which I do agree with. And Smooth Moves is infused with coconut and silk extracts, and the silk, we know what that does. Just, what does silk look like? Straight and sleek. What is that going to do to our hair? Make it straight and sleek. It doesn't straighten your hair, but it does, it looks nice. Um... That was a mouthful. So that is oh, so that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And before I go, I want to say I just bought these the other day. The Urban Decay Naked Basics and Naked Flushed. Love the flushed. I don't know why people are so obsessed with the basics though. It's like these colors hardly well, these two hardly show up. This one, these are nice. This one's really nice too. Only I I only like four of the colors in the palette. Like, these two sh suck. I mean, I guess they do show up if you try really hard, but it's really hard. And then this one is so pigmented. These two are just crazy pigmented. So random. I'm going to go now. I love y'all. See you soon. And if you want to see a birthday haul, tell me down below. See ya.